YouTube Society, Wardens here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Amnesia, a machine for pigs. So, last episode we fell down through here, and now we are walking through these sewer thingies. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product was scalded, de dehaired, and scraped, ready for camp rolling. Uh, gap rolling and evisceration. For this we pass them through the steam reservoir which is kept at a constant temperature by passing uh, excess high pressure venting from the engines mm, via the boiler and a series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, uh, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution. The removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along a set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. I guess those pipes will come in use later on. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Thank God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. The flooded tunnels. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels though? Well, what did he hope to achieve? Slowing my progress, I guess? Nope. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh no. Not one of those. Going this way. Okay, maybe not. Oh god, this is freaking scary, man. Okay. Should I walk this way? I can't see anything here. Okay. I saw a shadow. Oh, there's a gitter. Or there's a, some bars. Okay, that was a pick. I don't like this. Let's go back. Absolutely no idea where to go. Sluice gate one. Okay. I think we have to go back in there actually. Ugh. And then go the other direction. Okay, nothing. Meh! Holy shit. Uh, why the hell did they add a water monster in this game? Okay. 
Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's go this way. Ah! Perfect. August 1st, 1899. Several of the old reforms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no charm, and I am no a liar. Uh oh, a liar? At least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated and their duality uh, tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells and their visa splinters. They live sporadically, turn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds they are creatures of this world, then they are torn away and ceased to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected area sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned place now, places now, the abode of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. So a lot of experiments and a lot of failing. Oh, we are quite low up now actually, I think. Hello? Oh, nothing. Oh. I knew it. Okay. Okay, now I can't go that way. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Aha! Okay, that's actually pretty good because now I can go down here. I, did, I wasn't able to go down here before. Ah! Nah, stop that. You stupid water monster thingy. Okay, let's cross here. Yes, I see you. You can't do shit to me. Not when you're down there. No, I'm not going in there. Screw, okay, I have to. God damn it. God damn it, I don't want to. Can I go this way maybe? Hey, what the hell? Ooh. But we can save We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Douglas, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? <laughs> and your engineer, this visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has went for. 
And so you said about things that needed to be a positive attack. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. All of these pig references are so damn funny. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Hello? Okay, that's just... Ah, oh, there we go. That's what's... Ooh, a note. February 17th, 1899. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, Daddy, yes, we can see it. A tall weathered cap of steep sided pyramid, uh, so like those of e Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about intertwining the stucco serpents that thrive uh, about the steps. A palpable, a palpable sense of stillness, uh, a weight of forgotten. And this here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests. Priests live. Priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they must certainly were uh, were. They most certainly were not savages. You see, they believe, believed that the sky could fall on their heads. And they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether. Or perhaps this, their tragedy was they could uh, simply not spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling in upon them. Mm -hmm. Anything needed to be done first? No. Let's do this. I'm already scared. And no. Okay, I thought the, I had to go the other ways. Okay, let's see. Madus Pustaluvian. That's done it. Now I can enter the strange decon decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear, where I can divert the reminder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames, where it belongs, and clear the path to the center of the machine. Well, that was quite easy, actually. Okay. Please stop it. Ah, awesome. One of these things. Uh, let's see this one first. Bam. And then this one. We'll close that. And we'll pull this. Onwards. I don't know. Oh, okay. That cleared up a lot of stuff, I guess. Um, whoa. What the hell? Oh, that. Oh. Nope. Okay. A nest of wretches. Dear God, a whole nest of those foul creatures. No mind, my instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am sure somewhere in this dank complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces, and they go about, about their dark business. And yet, and yet I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike. 
and I will not think of what I have seen of the chairs and the cages, and I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. Look at them. Ew. Freaking disgusting. Holy shit, that's a big door. Um, I'm not going in there right now. I don't want to. Or should I? No, no. I'll I'll end this episode here. Um, before anything, job scares me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go click the like if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe for more. Watchums is over an hour. Mm, bye.